The Trump administration is talking tough about Iran. National Security Advisor Michael Flynn blasted the Iranians over a ballistic missile test. The launch on Sunday was Iran's first since President Trump was sworn in. The president tweeted about it last night, writing this, Iran is rapidly taking over more and more of Iraq, even after the U.S. has squandered $3 trillion there. Obvious long ago. That follows a report the president gave Australia's prime minister a tongue lashing over the phone. Margaret Brennan is at the White House with the administration's blunt messages. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Well, President Trump is taking a combative approach to foreign policy, abandoning diplomacy for strong rhetoric reflecting his America first worldview. And that leaves Rex Tillerson starting his first day as Secretary of State with a number of diplomatic crises. So help me God. So help me God. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson was sworn into office in the Oval last night, hours after National Security Advisor Michael Flynn issued a warning to Iran. As of today, we are officially putting Iran on notice. Flynn accused the country and its allies of destabilizing the Middle East. CBS News has learned that Iranian-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen attacked a Saudi frigate Monday because they thought it was an American ship. That attack, coupled with Tehran's recent test launch of a ballistic missile, triggered this angry response. Instead of being thankful to the United States in these agreements, Iran is now feeling emboldened. Under the U.N.-backed nuclear deal negotiated by the Obama administration, these kind of tests are discouraged but not clearly prohibited since the missile was not carrying a nuclear warhead. Look, Candidate Trump years, faulted the deal's loopholes. I think the Iran deal is one of the worst deals I've ever seen. At the time, he pledged to cancel it, but the White House says that's no longer the case. In a tweet last night, Mr. Trump suggested he might back out of a deal with U.S. ally Australia saying the Obama administration agreed to take thousands of illegal immigrants from Australia. Why? I'll study this dumb deal. Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull denied reports that Mr. Trump berated him during a 25-minute phone call Saturday. It's better that these things, these conversations are uh, conducted candidly, frankly, uh, privately. But acknowledged that he did inquire about an Obama administration pledge to resettle over 1,200 mostly Muslim refugees from Australia. The president assured me that he would uh, continue with, uh, honour the uh, agreement we entered into with the Obama administration with respect to refugee resettlement. But given President Trump's four-month ban on all refugees, this raises questions about whether America will keep this commitment and others. Gail? Thank you very much, Margaret.